we got a package. <laughs> I just got back from San Francisco. I was gone all week. I'm still tired, need some coffee, but um, while I was away, this package arrived. And because I wasn't around, I had it redirected to the uh, nearest UPS drop-off. Inside this package though, are two exciting smartphones, which we are going to check out today. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. So if this is the kind of content that you like, give this channel a subscribe and a like, and I will help you find the right gadget to match your needs. This is 24 hours with the Vivo V27. Forget high budget productions. This is what unboxing videos should be all about. This is going to be my unboxing studio today. You're welcome, New York. Doing some cleanup for you. <laughs> Et voila. Unboxing studio. It's my new set. Let's get on with our unboxing. Still in its shipping box. We don't have a blade, so this is gonna have to do. Ah. Vivo V27 Pro and Vivo V27. It's surreal that it's called the V27 because fun fact, I actually was in India for the launch of the Vivo V3. It makes me just feel really old. What? What's all that yelling? Because the V27 Pro was launched earlier this month, this video will focus primarily on the V27. Let's open it up and see what color we got. Ooh, that's lovely. I don't know if you can see it here. At first, I thought it was uh, smudged, but it's actually flecks of like black, almost made to resemble jade. And I love that. Also in the box, you have a clear jelly case, warranty card, an 80 watt Vivo flash charge adapter, an 8A USB-C to A cable, and a SIM tray ejector tool. Oh, look at this guys. From a light shade of green, the phone is now a darker shade. And that's thanks to what Vivo calls emerald glass processing technique, which when exposed to UV light allows the phone to change color. The phone also comes in magic blue, flowing gold, and noble black. Chai is wearing light colors, so the emerald green model matches her outfit better. It makes a nice, subtle pop of color and goes well with her pastel mint green purse and boots. It's worth pointing out that the 3D curved screen and this curved back on the V27 make it feel extremely thin and light. While we're here, I also want to talk about the main wide angle camera on the V27. It sports an IMX 766V. Notice the V, which means Sony and Vivo designed it together specifically with this phone in mind. Besides the three cameras instead of a flash, Vivo put what they call the Aura light. What's special about it is that the outer ring is matte and sandblasted, which can soften the light coming out of it. So it's not too harsh unlike a regular flash. The Aura light combined with the large sensor and algorithm optimizations work together to take great portraits even in low light. I can't wait to see how it works, so let's power up the phone so we can set it up and test these cameras. Moments later. Yesterday was a very long day, so I'm fading fast. So we figured maybe some food and some more coffee might help. 
we found this dimly lit restaurant uh, in Soho. Um, I think it's a German restaurant because I had some schnitzel. And there's like German artwork everywhere. We chose this restaurant because it is dark so that we can test out some of the low light uh, capabilities of the V27. But first, what I wanted to do is do a sample video recording uh, to show off the uh, video portrait mode on the smartphone. For reference, this is what it looks like without video portrait mode turned on. And this is what it looks like with video portrait mode turned on. I'm gonna move around the frame to see if the phone can keep up with me and still keep my background nice and blurry. How's it doing? You tell me. Let me know down below. As you can see, there's not a lot of natural light in this restaurant, so it's the perfect place to take portraits and test out that aura light system. It's kind of like bringing your own studio lights or a ring light, but in a device that fits in the palm of your hand. This is what it looks like with aura light off, and this is with aura light on. Here's another example with a busier background. We'll take more portraits tonight, but I want to show you a few of the portrait styles the V27 has on offer. This is natural. This is low light portrait. This one actually adds these bokeh-like effects in the foreground. There is also vintage film, which perfectly matches the vibe of this restaurant. Over lunch, I was going over all the cool features that Vivo has put into the phone, specifically for video creators. One of them is the ability to add LUTs or a, like a color treatment when you shoot videos. There are a lot to choose from. There's like cyberpunk, mute, classic, and nostalgia, which is what I use to film this short video. Soon after. Thankfully, the rain has subsided, so let's walk the High Line and take some photos. Those blue and yellow lights up there will make the perfect bokeh, and this is the perfect phone to take a selfie. It wouldn't be a V-series smartphone if it didn't have an amazing selfie camera. And on this V27, you have a 50 megapixel front camera with autofocus. Let's test it out. The phone feels so light in the hand. It's so easy to take one-handed selfies. And I love how subtle the color change is on this emerald green model. I love a good face filter and Vivo gives you three options. There's classic, natural, and if you don't want any, none. This is classic. My eyes look darker and my skin very smooth. This is natural. You can see my skin has more texture, but it still looks like I have some foundation on. And this is none. Now, because I want some bokeh, what I need to do is tap on this F icon and turn on bokeh mode. You can select how strong or weak you want the bokeh to be. And the phone actually gives you a preview of what that might look like. So let's do, let's do F2.0. I might have gone overboard. I took a lot of photos. Here is what they look like. You'll see the 50 megapixel HD resolution camera gives you clear details on your selfies. If we zoom in on my eyes, you can see pretty much every strand on my eyebrow, even the zipper and stitching on my puffer jacket. Every time I walk the High Line, I look into these buildings and wonder what it might feel like to live here. Let's pan over. They look great. They're probably very expensive, but I always wonder if it's worth it because 
tourists walk this uh, this path all the time and they can look. Uh, so you basically have people looking into your apartment every single day. I don't know how I'd feel about that. Anyway, we're doing a walk and talk right now. Chai is holding the phone. Uh, maybe I should even record you, Chai. Yeah, so that you can see Chai. Yes. And uh, what I wanted to do was test video stabilization on the V27. Vivo says that they have hybrid stabilization, which is supposed to reduce shakiness. So what you should be seeing is ultra smooth video. Let's let's walk some more chai. Walk this way, out of the way. With, um... So I don't know what you guys think. Is it is it smooth enough for you? Uh, we're currently recording this video in 4K, 30 FPS. How does this video look? Let me know down below. The Vivo V27 has a dedicated macro camera, so all you have to do is tap over here to turn on super macro mode, and it allows you to focus as close as four centimeters. Another feature that I think creators will love is called Micro Movie. It comes with a whole bunch of different filters or little templates that can judge up your videos. So we're gonna walk around Soho and shoot our own Micro Movie with the V27. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlog. Today I am tired and sleepy, but I have lots of work to do, including filming this video. We got distracted, we're kind of shopping at the moment, but uh, I wanted to show you the color change. It almost has a gradient to it. The top part is almost like white marble, and then it fades into this ombre of light green, which is so stunning. Earlier, out in the sun, it was like dark jade green. I love how throughout the day it changes color, and it looks different every time I look at it. Later that night. Now that the sun has set, time for more portraits and OOTD. Our friend Leslie even joined us for this quick photo shoot. New York really comes to life at night. And with a 1 over 1.56 inch sensor and super night mode, the Vivo V27 can easily capture the hustle and bustle of city streets. The next day. It's the next day and before we wrap up this video, I'd love to talk about a few more factoids that are worth pointing out about the Vivo V27. First up, it's powered by a 4 nanometer processor, the MediaTek Dimensity 7200. The phone is offered with either 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM, but with extended RAM 3.0, the phone basically borrows an additional 8 gigabytes of RAM from storage. So you either get 16 or 20 gigabytes of RAM. Vivo says that this will help when you're playing memory intensive games or if you like keeping plenty of apps open in the background. The phone is packed with a 4,600 milliamp hour battery and ships with a 66 watt flash charger. And here are the results of our gadget match charge test. I've always been a fan of Vivo V series smartphones and we've done a lot of videos and covered its progression throughout the years, which is why I'm pretty excited to see where it's at today. A phone offering a top-notch experience for less. I particularly enjoyed using all of its camera features and I think creators will too. I also love this cool color changing emerald green model. This phone is definitely the prettiest smartphone that Vivo has made recently. 
And that was 24 hours with the Vivo V27. The phone goes on sale today and pricing will depend on where it is you live in the world. For more videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff and for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.